Hi there folks, Simon here, Ariel's Pipe Smoker. Yeah, just a, just a short one, hopefully. I always say that and they go on for 20 minutes, but uh, hey. <laughs> I've got the uh, Danish free hand out today. I'm sure some of you have seen it before. And we're smoking some Macbaron's Stockton. Um, so it's kind of like a sliced roll cake. I'm hoping, um, yeah, I'm, hope, I'm still learning how to use this camera, um, so I don't really know how, how close to hold things <laughs> to it. You know. But that. Uh, I think we're going to get that. It should be okay. Yeah, nice. There's no, um, it just smells completely of natural tobacco. I mean, it's um, Virginia with um, dark fired and Cavendish that is made from dark fired, I think. Um, I'm not entirely sure whether there's Cavendish made from Dark Fired Kentucky and Dark Fired Kentucky in there as well. Not really possible to tell looking at it. And a very, very, um, very slight tin note. Um, there's nothing artificial there at all. It's got that kind of um, hay, fresh bread kind of thing off the Virginias, and um, I can't detect the um, Dark Fired in the smell. The dark fire taste seems to get stronger as you progress actually. The initial lighting is, um, well for me, very much just um, the, 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 the taste of the Virginias. And I think Macbarons do Virginias very well actually. And the, the, the moisture is spot on, it doesn't need any drying time. It, you know, it feels, um, doesn't feel moist to the touch. It's not what I'd call a sweet tobacco either. It's got a kind of, um, a kind of a nice um, kind of bitterness, sourness to it. It's not a, yeah, it's, it's not, it's not, a, it's not one of my sweeter tobaccos. Not to my palate, anyway. My friend sent me a sample of this. Um, oh, I don't know. It must have been around Christmas time, I guess, and I really enjoyed it. Um, so when I did my um, last big order, I made sure I got a tin. And I mean, this is pretty cheap from Germany. It's I I've taken the the tag off it. It's um, well under twenty euros for a hundred grams, I think. And I don't really even um, doesn't really need rubbing out. I just tend to to get it, scrunch it and push it in. So yeah, I mean that's, that's the only reason I'm making this video really. Um, oh, I tried to do a live stream last night but um, hi, there's, there's something, something going on with um, my Windows settings or I think it's Windows settings, I'm not sure. And normally I'm quite good with audio stuff, you know, and, um, but it didn't matter if I tried this new camera or use my phone. Um, I couldn't, I couldn't get anything to recognise audio. I couldn't get OBS to recognise audio. I couldn't get um, the Windows test diagnostics to, to recognise any audio. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what was going on. It got a bit late and I just gave up in the end. Um, there's a few things I've done um, on, on recommendation um, because the other problem was when I, um, I tried just to, to do, do a straight webcam to YouTube using this camera or my phone as the webcam, it kept saying that the, the, the webcam was being used by another, um, another application. Uh, 
so, but I don't think it was. Um, but anyway, as a precaution, really, I've kind of taken Skype and Zoom and all of these things that have our microphone access off, off my computer. And uh, yeah, maybe I'll persevere again later. But it's far too nice today for um, doing all of that stuff. So, um, kind of waiting on the post lady to turn up. There might be a little, a little surprise present for me for turning up from England in the next few days. Hmm, that could well be here now, actually. So it is. Right, I'm going to hang up, guys, and um, speak to you all soon. Take care now.